Well, it's been a couple months, and, you know, I've come to the realization that there's no denying this anymore. The the, the furry has completely come out. And uh, last night made me really realize something, and uh, we were in VR chat last night. I did, I, I posted a clip, I know a few of you have already seen it, the, the Raccoons theme song, and it really took me down memory lane at this point, just remembering the old school cartoons that I grew up with, and... It, they were amazing then, and they still are amazing now. I still will watch them now. Uh, you know, I, every once in a while, I'll put on the gargoyles from Disney. Stone by day, warriors by night. I'll, I'll put on the old school DuckTales movie. Life is like a And the raccoons. The raccoons, which a lot of you seem to not even know this show existed. This is the evergreen forest. Quiet, peaceful, serene. That is until Bert Raccoon wakes up. This is a Canadian classic at this point. This the show came out in the '80s. Um, I, I, you know, I was born in the '80s. I'm, I'm up there in age for, for discovering all this stuff. It's absolutely crazy, where, where things have gone in my life. Um, you know, and I, I equate a little bit for what I'm going through, uh, to just the struggles of survival and struggles to live. Uh, just the, the years that I've lost to just traumatic experience overall and that's where I am right now it's it's quite interesting for for me to rediscover a lot of love for old school cartoons old school movies and just overall the anthropomorphic side of things I I mean it, it's something that I never knew was really there that was screaming at me in, in the darkness of all of it. And, you know, when you peer through that door, it, it was it was a very different time and a very different age. Back in June, I attended uh, the, the furry con known as Furre. It's a local furry con in Edmonton, Alberta. And, <laughs> you know, the, the joke going around now, I walked through that door as a normal, normie, and that normie died at the doorway. And that's really where it feels right now. Uh, I've been having the absolute time of my life in the last couple months. You can see the bags under my eyes because I don't sleep, period. And it's not, not so much that I'm in VR for non-stops. It's just, I, I just generally don't sleep anymore. I get four to five hours a night. That's how I function as a human being, which is not good. Uh, at some point, I'm going to have to just slow down a little bit and actually have a decent night's sleep. But until then, I'm just enjoying things the way they are, enjoying talking to everyone in, in these community spaces that I've found. Uh, just And streaming the Friday nights have been a highlight of the last few weeks. Um, just being able to sit there with with individuals that that know what it's like to just have someone to talk to again. Uh, it's absolutely amazing, but you know, I gotta say some of the old school cartoons that were out there, like Gargoyles, DuckTales, uh, D the Raccoons, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Tailspin. But these two gum shoes are picking up the slack. There's no case too big, no case too small. When you need help, just call. These are all ones that I grew up with, you know, the Saturday morning cartoons, the Looney Tunes of sorts, the, the tiny tunes, everything that we had to think about. It, it's absolutely just bewildering at this point that this is everything I grew up with. And then I sat there, I would be glued at these shows. I would be, I, I wouldn't put them down. And I, like I said, I still catch myself today uh, where I will be doing something in the background, uh, maybe editing a video or, or maybe just watching over my kid. And I will throw these on, these cartoons on and just lose myself to them all of a sudden. Uh, I'm going back into the old school days of just remembering something that once was. And 
they don't make cartoons like this anymore. They don't make anything close to this anymore. Probably the biggest ones that you've got, especially for, for the furry side of things, you got Bluey, you got Paw Patrol, you know, both shows that my kid watches, um, but they're not ones that I that really draw me right into them anymore. Uh, the old school storytelling, the old school 80s style music, the guitar riffs, the everything that went with it, just the music alone really hit so much harder than, and it still hits hard today. That music really uh, revolutionized a generation, and look where we are now. Do you, do you blame this stuff? Do you, do you blame for people being able to express themselves in a much different form of what we have in the world right now? Do you blame anyone for that? No, you can't. Because it's absolutely amazing to see. And those couple months ago, walking through those doors and we're looking back at the realization of something that was always there. At this point, I'm sitting here going, okay, I'm I'm a content creator. I've used the Phoenix in, in this content for a very long time. It was even mentioned to me back a long time ago. You know, you're going to get mistaken for a furry. Well, I, I think back when, when I really went that route, maybe it was because there was something deeper behind that. Maybe because there was something more of a spirituality or more of just a likeness for the creatures that just make us giggle and laugh. You know, I, I posted that clip and I haven't stopped watching it. And it's it's an absolute wholesome clip for myself. And uh, I, I hope everyone else enjoys it. And if you have never seen the raccoons for a TV show, it is definitely one to look up because I gotta say, it was fun loving Burt Raccoon going around doing silly things with uh, with his brother and sister, with uh, cousins, with, with Sneer or Sneer being the bad guy. And it was a much different time and place. And his life would be simple except for... The Raccoons! I remember when I was going to Nate, I didn't have TV, but you know, you had, you had Peasant Vision, and you could get one or two channels, and the one thing that I could do during my, uh, my lunch break while I was at Nate, this is back in my 20s, would be The Raccoons. And I would sit there and I'd watch it. I'd eat my lunch watching The Raccoons. It wasn't something I ever grew out of as a, a, a child. And I, like I said, today I still watch these shows. And it's actually absolutely amazing to go back to them right now and know that those things were planting a seed that was something completely different in, in this mind. And now I just sit here and I laugh and I have fun and we get to, we get to all enjoy it. Anyway, I'm going to sign off here. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and definitely you should check out the old old cartoons.